This video is designed to provide you with an alternative means of analyzing your primary Medmont windows. You can follow these instructions to set up these new defaults. First click on a single topography, go up to display and axial power. Then at the bottom of the colorized scale, change from an absolute scale of either K, standard, or universal, and switch to a normalized, which provides you with greater definition on each individual map that you select. You can alter the color map opacity to show more or less rings. Recommended would be to have it at 80%, which just faintly gives you the image of the rings in behind looking for areas of distortion. You can check or uncheck any of these boxes to give you a different appearance to each one of your analysis windows. Recommended would be to have all the boxes checked with the exception of numeric data. Next with your single topography selected go to home and contact lens. Click on manufacturers Check each box next to the lab that you presently deal with or the lab that you would prefer to order lenses from. Then once you've selected all the labs that are available to you, click OK. From the design window, select a single design. Make sure your vertex distance is at 12 and click OK. Then Make sure your color map opacity is set at 100% to ensure that you have the greatest fluorescein illuminescence, at least in this theoretical model. And you can check or uncheck any of these boxes, again, to change the appearance of the display. Then under the scale, Standard fluorescein is what you should have selected for corneal GPs, which gives you a scale of 0 to 100. If you're dealing with sclerals, you adjust that to extended fluorescein to allow for 0 to 500 microns, a broader scale. Standard fluorescein for corneal GPs, and that's the way you might want to leave it as a default. The contact lens software is set up. You can click OK, click on Home. Click on the single topography that you have and hold down the control key and select a second topography. Then go up to view and comparison. Make sure the two images on the left are set for normalized and then the difference map on the right or the comparison map used in orthokeratology analysis used to compare patients over time such as keratoconic patients to look for progression or changes in the disease. You can alter how these maps are sensitive to smaller finite changes. Click on the bottom of this 10 diopter scale select custom, absolute, change your maximum value to two, then click apply and save as. Enter in something like a two diopter scale and OK and OK again. And now that gives you a scale of plus or minus two. If you're doing orthokeratology with treatment effects of four diopters, six diopters, you may want to create additional scales of, of two, four, six, eight, and then the standard of 10. But leave it as a default as a two diopter scale. Then click on a single topography, go to combination, and you may alter any one of the appearances of these four images by going to display click on the title bar and alter the appearance by using your standard display options. To change box number two, just simply highlight that box. And again, you may alter by using your display window. Click on box number three, make changes necessary, so on and so forth. This concludes the setting up of the alternative Medmont software defaults.